This is Ian Brennan. I'm reading from my book, Sister Maple Syrup Eyes. Prologue. Your mother named you Dawn because she thought it was the prettiest time of day. Morning was just moments away when you were raped. Traffic lights outside our window flash pre-programmed patterns and the poles weave slightly in the wind. Once she screamed no, just as the light turned from yellow to red, but he did not stop. He only hit harder. A woman in a car below waited for the signal to change, turned her radio louder, and drove on. He'd entered through the bathroom window, the one with the faulty lock that the landlord never got around to fixing. You awakened to find him on top of you, pinning your shoulders to the bed with his knees and hitting you in the face repeatedly. Your eyes soon filled with blood until you could no longer see. You were certain you'd been blinded. The sun was rising as he left. It was through him that you learned to fear each new day. Chapter 69 For weeks after the attack, you continued to scrub your hands, severely, repetitively, until they were chafed and bleeding, but still you could not wash his scent from you. All my nose could detect was ivory soap and moisture, but to you it was overpowering. I can no longer feel anything. My fingertips are broken. Often I find myself standing for hours in the shower now, as if water could carry memory into the bay. I remain there long after the temperature has fallen and my skin turns from pink from cold. But no matter how long I stay, you will not wash clean.